Hey everybody, this is Michelle Baker. I'm gonna do a quick tutorial and show you some Photoshop edit exercises. Okay, so you will get um, a zip folder like this that says Photoshop edits. If you'll double click that folder, it will give you a blue folder that says Photoshop edits. So double click the blue folder and you'll see these five pictures. Starting with the tattoo, click on that, then click on the blemish, the cattle, and sky one and sky two, then right click and open all of them at once in Photoshop. Ignore the zebra, that's for another project. Okay, so let's start with first the tattoo. Let's say that this client wants the tattoo removed and um, we're gonna just kind of explore some tools that might do that job the most efficiently. So first I'm gonna start with something called the patch tool. So over here, about six tools down. And if you hover over it, it shows you what it does. So if you click on that patch tool, the best way to work with it is kind of like a pencil. You draw, and we're just gonna draw um, a letter at a time. Uh, we're gonna connect the running ants together and then sample some skin over here and let go and see if it did the trick. You could hit escape to get those running, or well, actually to get the running ants off, hit command. D and take a look at it. It looks pretty good. So the patch tool might be perfect for this exercise. Um, doing one letter at a time might be the best way and just sampling the skin off to the side closest to it to give it the most normal look. Let's do two letters and see what happens. Okay, maybe sample some skin over here. Command D. And it's looking pretty good. Now, if you see something like a pattern from where you did your, your sampling, you can just take, you know, a piece like this and come over here and, oops, um, just come over here and sample some and try to make it look a little less obvious. And so the trick is to take just a little chunk at a time. If it starts to look too obvious, you just uh, go back and get a smaller piece So this client wants their tattoo off in the photograph, and this is what we're doing. Just taking the tattoo completely off to explore some of the tools. And if you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can save that photograph and let me see your work in class. Let's move on to the photograph that's called blemish. We're gonna help this fellow out by removing a few of his blemishes. And we're gonna try it with the patch tool see how that looks. Command D to take the running ants off. So the patch tool works great for this. Um, if there was another tool that you could use, it would be something like this clone stamp here. You can click on the clone stamp and it will, you know, put down, it will sample, um, so I can show you what it'll do. I'm gonna hit Command Z and put my blemishes back on here and show you how to use the clone stamp. Okay, so you click on the clone stamp and you wanna get your brush uh, a size big enough to work with. Let's say I wanna sample this skin here. And so I, I click Option and it changes um, into a different circle and I hit click on the mouse. And so what it did is it sampled that skin there and I'm gonna to try to bring it over the blemish so I'm just gonna start clicking lightly and see if it can cover it that way. And it did a pretty good job. I just uh, would probably take the opacity down a little bit so that um, I can just get a sampling that doesn't look quite so starch. See how it made it a little too white? So I might come down here and sample this darker skin and kind of go over it to make that skin darker and more natural looking like that. And then I would come over here and sample the dark skin by hitting option and clicking and then putting some darker color over this side because there's a shadow on this side of the face. So this is how you can use the, the clone stamp. Uh, it just, you know, depends on which tool works best. I kind of think the patch tool works pretty good. All right, let's go on to the cattle. For this, I want you to remove the cattle out of the image. 
And so I'm going to show you how to do that. If you'll click on um, this tool here, you may not see this tool. You may just see one of these other three. So to get to that, you just click on that white arrow and hold it down. I want you to use this lasso tool. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can lasso your little cow in its shadow. Touch the, the pencil together. And then you can go up to, um, it is, we want to edit this image. We want to go down to content aware fill. So we're going to content aware. We want it to be aware of the content that's around it and fill it with the grass that's around it. So this is what it's going to look like over here once it fills it with the grass that's around it. And that may be okay. We may have to touch up some sides, but we're going to click apply and see how that looks. And then we're going to click okay and hit Command D to get the running ants off. So it, it, it did kind of, it did an okay job. It's a little blurry. I don't care for how blurry it is. So maybe the patch tool would do better. So let's try the patch tool and just do like a little section of grass at a time. Maybe sample the grass down here and see if we can get it to not look so blurry. See, that looks so much better. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. And for this case, the patch tool is, I think, going to remove these cows and their little shadows the best. So remove all the cows um, like this with the patch tool. And then um, this cow that's in the shade might be a little tricky. You may have to sample some shade to get shade to lay down where it was. But I'm going to let you do that one on your own. And then the last task for Sky 1 and Sky 2 is to put the rainbow in sky two into the picture in sky one so um that's going to be fun and i'm going to show you how i would do it um, i would grab this quick selection tool probably and um sample um try to cut the sky by hitting um you can use selection and mask if you want to but it can be as simple as command c to copy and clicking on this sky picture and hitting command V paste. Then you'll hit command T to get um, the entire picture and um, something like this, raise it up. And then I'm going to show you how um, to put the grass back on top of it that belonged to this picture so you can see those beautiful hills again. Okay, so we want to go to window and down to layers. And we've got these two layers, right? So let's unlock the bottom layer. Let's take off this eyeball off the top layer so we can see this whole picture again. I'm going to take the grass by the, using the quick selection tool. And I'm going to cut and paste uh, the grass. But I'm going to use the selection tool so that the mountains are a little blended. So I'm going to use selection and mask, put a little bit of a radius on there. Smooth it out, give it a little bit of feather, and um, kind of shift the edge in just a little. And I'm going to click new. Um, I'm going to click new layer and hit OK, and it gave me just the grass. So now when I put the sky, um, the sky's on top. I want to bring the sky underneath so we can see those beautiful rolling hills, and that's how you can get um the sky on top now one other thing you can do is you can add an adjustment um uh, excuse me a layer mask onto your your rainbow sky and when you get the black um paintbrush the color black you can actually if you put this at a op opacity like 30 or 40 if you um if you take off some of this sky, you can get that darker blue sky to come through. Um, that might be too much, so you can hit Command Z if you make a mistake. But you can see how you can get, um, you know, some of that other sky to come through. And so it actually looks like the sky that was in that other picture. It's that deep blue color that that picture had. Um, 
And again, if you take too much off, you can always hit Command Z. But you can, you know, you can do whatever you like. Um, but just play around with that and put the rainbow that's in Sky Two into Sky One. And uh, we'll take a look at your work when we see you again. Hope you enjoy these exercises. Bye bye.